Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jolie and um, welcome back. So we're going to be reading from a little time for myself. Oh. I'm ready. Lilac's here with us. Hi, sweetheart. Can you say hello? <laughs> She's doing better. She's Seems to be going to hang out with me a little bit. Yes. I miss you. I miss you when I'm at work. So let's have a little sip. A, a, a humongous flask for my mom. And I, I've stuck this funny sticker on it. It's true flask. It's not a, um, what is it? A Henry? Stanley, is that what it is? It's mine's not one of those because I don't know why I would do that or why I would spend money on it. Anyhow, so what do you think, baby? All right, I'm trying to get adjusted. Sorry. All right, so what's the date? September 9th. All right, so oh, all right, here it goes. Um, growing up. I tried to be perfect to avoid arousing my alcoholic father's anger. I only received approval for accomplishments, so I became an overachiever. I began attending Al-Anon, and I approached recovery with the same attitude. True. I wanted to do everything at once <laughs> so I can get an A in Al-Anon and fix myself. God, this is so true. So the slogan, easy does it, reminds me I don't have to take on more than I can handle today. This gentle approach to recovery is more helpful than forcing solutions. Just as I don't need to fix the addict, I also don't need to fix myself. Um, that is my higher power's job. Good. So if I can relax, I can listen. And if I can relax, listen, and remain willing, an answer will come from that calm space. I will learn what I need to learn when I am ready. All right. So today's reminder, recovery is a lifelong process, a marathon. A never ending marathon, <laughs> not a sprint. I'm exactly where I need to be. I just need to take the next right step. True, absolutely. But I'm reading this and I'm like, I never wanted to run a marathon. I'm not that fit, never ever was. And I don't want to, I don't need to prove that. <laughs> but even like a, is it a 5K? It's pretty hard. It's pretty hard to do. Um, so I'm going to see this as a, as my 5K, which is, you know, I can't just go out there and run that right now. I'd have to work up to it. And even when I work up to it, it's still, for me and my attention span, it takes, it's, it's a lot. So I go in, I go out, I go in, I go out. So knowing thyself, I think um, for me to stay present so that I'm okay with that, knowing who I am, what, how I work, what motivates me, what doesn't motivate me within my recovery and being okay with that, not judging myself, um, not pushing myself and um continuing to connect with my higher power with like the confidence that comes with getting to know who you are and what motivates you and um, working with your higher power so that um, doing the next right thing is always in our best interest. So I will not try to grasp the whole 
recover my whole recovery at once, even though like now that it's like now that you know you're here, you're like, I want I want it all. I want it now. I want it all. I want it now. Right. So less so I will not try to grasp the whole program at once, lest I become distracted and confused. So that's um, one day at a time in Alanon is a good book. <clears throat> it's one of the like the old first books that um, I've ever read. I think it's a, um, it's tried and true. It's one of the books I read here on the channel. I have so many readings. I've been doing this for four years, almost every single day. So four years. 365 times that many readings is a lot. So you can get, you can always look them up if you want. I'll put a link in with that um, uh, series. I also do steps here on the channel. Um, I read those. So anyhow, steps are great because it gets, you get, that's how you like dig up and get to know who you are. All right. So, um, and what's, what's your deep motivations that you don't, your unconscious things that um, you've squashed. So this helps you to open to that just little by little. So how much do I expect? How much do I expect of myself is the question of the day. How much do you expect of yourself? Are we perfectionists or People pleasers, that's another way of looking at perfectionism, thinking that if you're perfect, then you'll be accepted and loved and you'll be good enough. People please, I, I don't know. I, I feel like those two are in a codependent uh, situation are side by side. One could be saying, well, that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm trying to please them so that they know I love them when it's really trying to be perfect, being loved by everyone. And that's not possible. You know, we'd love that to happen. I know I would. All right, so, um, but I'm accept I accept that. So I had a good day. The lady that bothers me was not there today. Again, so that's good. So how realistic are my expectations? I found, um, I have been watching this one doctor, Kevin, I don't remember the name of the doctor offhand, um, but I believe I've used his voiceover in some of my shorts and what he, and I, I, I'll clear it up. I'm just starting to watch him. So he comes from a trauma background um, and uh, an alcoholic trauma background. But he doesn't, he's not an Alamon person per se. Maybe he does Alamon groups, but he doesn't frame it as Alamon. So either does this channel. It's not an Alamon channel. It's not an AA channel. It's me reading and working my recovery one day at a time with Lilac, with my cats in my, um, my art space. So what was I getting at? So, um, I mean, it's just, it's a process. So what this doctor was talking about, or this, he's a social worker. Um, he was talking about scapegoating and perfectionism and people pleasing and, um, and recovery in ways that were really interesting. So I'm going to end there because lilac is not in my computer and I'm going off track, but check out some of my shorts. I think they're interesting. I, I, I put things in there that I don't put on my channel so far. And um, please like, subscribe, and join if you haven't already. It helps the channel. And um, anyhow, all right, I love you. And I will see you, God willing, tomorrow with another reading. I will. And, oh, let's say the serenity prayer. Here we go. God grant us serenity.
to accept things that we can't change, to have courage to change things we can, and wish them to know the difference. Mm -hmm. I love you. And I'll see you, God willing, tomorrow with another reading. I can't stop. I mean, she's looking at the computer. Okay, bye.